I understand that sometimes smokers gotta smoke, even if it's on the clock. But you don't need to smoke every 15 minutes in total disregard of our lunch rush or the team concepts. Remember one day, I was busting tables, and two hours into my shift, I got the, my other busser, uh, John Christopher, and the manager, I'm going to call it JF, were coming back in for the sixth time, smelling like new ports and Axe body spray. Now, I'm sitting here carrying a ton of dishes. My entire white shirt is tie-dyed in condiments and juice and, soup and, and sauces. And John Christopher comes to me and says, Hey, bro. You need help with anything? Now, I know what this really means. Can you tell me nothing so that I can be excused to go outside, suck down some more nicotine, and talk about this 300-pound hussy I was hitting last night? I said, yeah, here's what you can do. Help me out. And stop smoking on the damn cigarettes on the clock. Wait till you get home. He was like, dude, uh, you don't realize I, I gotta smoke, man. Like, so why don't you just hook an IV up to your arm and let pump it <clears throat> full of nicotine and you can at least, at least you can carry that over your back and keep working. And so I walked off trying to get done with the next table. Well, John, you know, I guess he had to have the last word, came to me and says, I think if you smoked, you'd understand, bro. You want to smoke, you smoke at your own time. Right now, we got people to see, so we need to hurry up. So if you don't mind, if you can go over to the table three and bust that table real quick, so I sat and go home. To the table three, manager JF goes over there too. He grabs like a few dishes, the manager grabs the rest, and they go back in the back room, in the dish room. When I swing by there, I see the tables from table three sitting right there on the shelf. So, when you put it on a shelf like that, since no one's going to own up to it, the dishwasher has to basically come over there and take them down. And it's very disrespectful to the dishwasher. That's kind of like dumping your kids off and they're not even clean or, or properly dressed. They're just all funky and hungry. So I walk to the back door, and sure enough, there's John and the manager sitting right there sucking down nicotine. So I said, I'm sorry, I didn't know you two were the one we hired to sit around and smoke all day while everyone else runs around and busts their ass trying to get shit done. Now, mind you, JF is a real droopy, skinny guy. Very frail looking, too. But he's going to walk up into my face, like this close to me, and says, look, we got the right to smoke. I said, yeah, but not seven times in a day. It's only been three hours, you're just smoking seven times. Well, you know what? If you got the right to pollute your lungs, I got the right to pollute my arteries. So, every time you go on a smoke break, I'm going on a hamburger break. That's right. Every single time y'all go on a break, I'm going to pull over to the side, and I'm going to have me a hamburger with hella bacon and hella sauce on it. And that's what we're going to do. I don't care about the lunch rush or anything like that. I'm going to sit around and eat while you sit around and smoke. And when you get done smoking, I'll be done eating, and we go back here and do this work together. Well, JF comes right in my face and says, look, if you don't like it, you could just quit. And he walked back inside. John Christopher followed him. But on the ground, John left his uh, pack of cigarettes. And as he's sitting over there trying to pat down to see where the, ci the cigarettes were, I grabbed the cigarettes and I held on to them. Well, John comes up to me and asks me for the cigarettes back. I said, why should I? Just then, the dishwasher sitting over for the uh, sit, sit. Just then, the dishwasher sitting for the cigarettes. So I shoved John aside and I threw the dishwasher the cigarettes. Dishwasher started ripping up the cigarettes, tearing tearing them up. And John is sitting there trying to fight back. I'm tr I'm holding John back. I'm holding John back. Just and then after that, the dishwasher dumped all the cigarettes into the dishwasher, ran through the cycle, and when he came out, not only was the dishwasher covered in nothing but ash or uh, tobacco, but they were all soapy, drenched, and covered in soap. Now, obviously, as a smoker, you can imagine how John felt. He was basically distraught. 
and JF came in, he was equally as hot. So I shook the Jesse Rogers hand, gave him a pound, and I went back out there to try to catch up the workload. JF and uh, John was so mad at me that they didn't even really want to help me out with the dish, with the busing or anything. So I was basically again busing by myself. Which actually worked out the same because typically servers tip based on who they see working. And all the servers thought I was the only one working, so I walked out about 140 bucks that night. And John? He walked out with 30.